Hey girls, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you a collective haul of some things that I picked up within the last uh, week. So let me get started. Now on yesterday, I needed to go to Sally's to pick up some relaxer for my hair. So I ended up getting the Mazzani relaxer. This is for fine and color treated hair. This tube is a 30 ounce jar and I used this on yesterday and so far I like the product. This is not the first time I've used Mazzani's uh, products. I like their serum, their um, hairspray, and they have some other uh, items that I can't remember the name of. But the line is pretty good, and I have the neutralizer downstairs so I can The sun is that. going in and out, so hopefully the lighting isn't too bad. All right, and then I picked up the Miracle 7. This is the silk shampoo, and this is sulfate-free, but it really don't matter for me. I really like the way shampoo smell and most of all it doesn't leave my hair hard it leaves my hair silky smooth it says it delivers radiant shine prolongs your color if you have color treated hair like i do it reduces brittleness and breakage seals the hair cuticle nourish the hair and hydrate it and revives uh, it only takes me one hair, time so. to know if the shampoo is good or not and this right here is a keeper and i also picked up the silk deep conditioner and this is really good too and I also picked up the mist now this line is a little bit pricey so if you do decide to go out and try it you might want to wait until you get a coupon or if it get, goes on sale I can tell you right now that this uh, shampoo was $14.29 and if you have a Sally's card it's $12.99 so keep that in mind I also want to um, mention that I picked up the Regis design line and this is the olive oil shampoo I had this for about a good month and a half and the reason why I put this in this video is because this line, I would think that it being olive oil, that my hair will be soft and silky and it'll smell good. This right here leaves my hair so hard. And I don't know why, but um, I, I hate stiff hair. Now this might be a good product for a person that has fine hair and you need some volume and a little bit of poof, but I have real thick hair and I didn't need that extra, you know, poof. So this right here to me was a no-go. But why am I doing this like I'm doing favors? I just had to mention I picked that. up the Sergi Wax and this is the assorted wax strips. I use this if I have uh, some hair, my facial hair, like you know, a little bit right here or anything I want to remove on my chin or cheek it's a good uh, facial strip okay and then from Sally's I picked up a whole bunch of nail polishes I went on a nail polish kick I picked up tropical pop this is a very pretty vibrant orange and I'll bring it on in so that you can see it and that's tropical pop all right, here's another one, and this is called Saturated, and it's a very pretty purple. Orly, and this is called Lush, and I like it because it's a very pretty green, and it has, like, gold strips in it. A pretty peachy with gold shimmer, and this is called Cheeky. Classic Contours. This is a very pretty neutral shade. I picked up Flip Flop Fantasy. And this is a really nice peach shade. And that's what I have on my nails right now. And I noticed that um, I have another Flip Flop Fantasy. But it's in a hot pink. So I don't know why this one is peach and this one is pink. But uh, they're all pretty. And the last polish that I picked up from Sally's is this right here. Hopefully a focus. And this one is from Finger Paints, and it's called A Pink of Pixie. And it looks really good as an accent on your nails. All right, and next I have a rubberized base coat. And this is what I use before I apply my nail polish because I want my nail polish to last a little bit longer, like three or four days. And this helps. I think I have this already. already. This is called Out the Door, and this is just a real quick, fast uh, top coat. And it works really well. Today I put a uh, Setch Beat on top. And um, let's see, is that it from Sally's? I believe so. Hopefully I don't leave anything out. Now we're gonna move Amazon. on to Amazon. I picked up some um, cotton clouds. I picked up three of these, and they were I think uh, about eight or nine dollars. And it has 220 individual pads. 
Now these right here are like multicolor and they're supposed to be kind of like the um, ones from Sephora. I can't remember the name of it but uh, they are soft and I use this to take off my makeup and I also use these to uh, take off my nail polish and I really like these a lot. They were very inexpensive. I can't remember the name of the uh, cotton pads but you guys know what I'm talking about. All right next from and from Amazon I picked up the Babyliss Pro Nano Titanium U Style Straight Curling Iron and it heats up for $450. Um, this is the flat iron right here and it has the settings for let me see 340 400 and 450 the on off button and it has the uh, like grips and the grips in the front and the plates for you to be able to curl your hair is right here and um, I really like the uh, flat iron I've had better but um, it does a good job I flat iron my hair with these on today and um, let's see what else did I I picked up some instant hair refresh this is dry shampoo and it has a really nice smell it's tropical and exotic and you know you just spray it your hair when it's time for you to um, give it a little you know refresh this big old bottle of Zoya uh, three-in-one nail polish remover and I just this is like a 30 ounce 32 ounce and I put the you know product in here this smaller bottle because it has a pump and this is what I use to remove my nail polish I feel like this video is just all over the place but just bear with me okay and then I went to pick up the Mario Badescu and this is a facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water and this is a four ounce bottle and it says once you try this rejuvenating facial spray you won't want to be without it use it to set your makeup it soothes your skin um, in dehydrating conditions or to give your skin a, your skin a quick boost anytime so this is just a little uh, light mist and my girl toy Barbie she uh, uses this so I wanted to see how it worked out and so far it works it, really, nice. really nice and I also purchased some more nail polishes which I don't need but these are so pretty I'm like a sucker for nail polishes I guess because I'm a girly girl but this is called I Lilac You and it's uh it's coming off it's coming off gray but it's actually a really pretty light periwinkle shade another one from Sally Hansen's and this is called watercolor and it's a pretty teal and lastly we have one from Spa Ritual and this is called Firefly and it's a very pretty neon reminds me of yellow. the one from Orly that's called Glow Stick so um, if you don't have glow stick you also, can get I this picked one. up the NYX soft matte lip creams and they were buy one get the other one 50% off this one is called Sydney and it's a pink and then this one is called Tokyo and it's another um, that's Tokyo that one is called Sydney and that's the one I just put on my lips. Next, I um, went into Sephora and I only purchased one item. And that is really good. And it's a lipstick. And hopefully I can find it around here somewhere. I picked up one item and it was from Sephora. I did really good. And this one is from their Sephora line. And it's called Flamingo. And it's just a hot pink shade. This is from their new collection. They didn't put all of them out, so that's why I ended up getting just one. And from, let's see, where else did I go? Oh, I did, did I mention I picked up some of these uh, processing caps from Sally's? I like to use these when I sit under the dryer with my conditioner. And, oh, is the last MAC Pro Longwear Foundation. And this is the compact, I think it's a new product. And this is the box that it comes in. I'm an NC45, but I had to get this in NC50 because, because um, they come light. And it comes with the mirror. 
and the compact now this product looks dark in the packaging but it actually um, matches my skin tone and I'm wearing it today I wore it yesterday and I also wore it today to work and I put the I put the product on let me see around 5 a.m. and it is now let's see my phone's right here it is now 557 I really like this product it feels like a cream but it goes on and it dries to a powder finish if that makes any sense and what I noticed is that the only place that I had to blot today is like above my brows like right here because I get like really oily and right here other than that I didn't have to blot and it's last thing a long time and it doesn't look so bad um to me I like this powder a lot and I noticed that it doesn't transfer you know how you touch different things like paper or, or receipt or something and you have that makeup but it didn't do that and um it, like I said it lasts a long time so um I'll be rocking this until I get tired of it so yeah that is what I'm wearing today I'm so silly all right you guys so thank you all for watching this here video and if you're not subscribed to this channel and you're new to my channel and you want to see more videos like this go ahead and subscribe until then, I will see you later, Gators. Take care. Bye-bye.